What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and I'm here in my backyard and we got to trap a little critter that's lurking around at night because I got my two chickens who are chilling under my table right now. Fin Finley. No, I have some chicken feed. I was trying to um, get them out from under the table, but Finley's here keeping them there. <laughs> the wild chicken is on the floor behind my Rhode Island Red right there. Um, if you guys haven't watched some past videos, I had two chickens die. Not really sure why, sometimes they just die. So to prevent any more deaths, which my other two chickens did not die from a predator, but there has been a possum lurking around in my yard. And I know that because I went to let Finley out a couple nights ago and he was barking like crazy. And back behind here, which I have the chicken food in here and just kind of like some miscellaneous stuff. I did have a bag of cat food in this like little plastic container that was just like chilling right there. It was my, my hedgehog food. Um, and I just kind of left it there, whatever. Anyways, the possum got into the cat food and was hiding behind there. Finley was going crazy and I was like, oh boy, he was a cute little guy too. And I absolutely love possums and raccoons. I can't kill them because I don't want to. I have a little possum back here. Finley's trying to get him. Hi hey, possum, you're so sweet. So I'm going to try to capture him tonight. Hopefully we get him on the first try and relocate him to an area where I'm allowed to release possums. So we have a small animal trap here. I do have a larger trap for raccoons, but I am targeting a possum. I did actually technically caught the possum the other night, but I it was in the middle of the night and I was not prepared to um, like enclose him and relocate him. I'll, I'll show you guys that video right here. I see you got into the cat food. Was it good? It's okay. You're literally in the bag. <laughs> Old possum. You're just a baby. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't attack me. Not that you will, but go on. It's okay. You're literally in the bag. What are you doing? This bag is empty. Yeah, his little butt was in that little plastic container inside the cat food bag and the cat food was gone. So my bait is some of this cat food I got from the grocery store, a little bit of Finley hard food. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up, set it in our trap here. And the way this trap works is when the possum goes inside the trap, he's gonna press on this little lever and the door's gonna shut just like that. What was that, Finley? So we're gonna go ahead and set our trap. I gotta be careful because I still have to let Finley outside and his little butt would definitely try to get that food and probably set up the trap. I do have my game trail camera right here. I'm going to set up near the trap as well as my Simply Safe camera. I'm gonna try to put as much cameras as I on as I on on the possum in the trap to see if I can't get his little butt going in there. So it should be a good video. Hopefully we can capture him tonight. He'll definitely be back. I mean, he's been in my backyard for the past like three nights eating that cat food. Although last night there was no cat food. So hopefully he'll be back for some more. We'll find out. Super easy to set up. You just put this little piece right in here and then you're gonna hold that while you're holding that 
you gotta lift this door up push that back lift the door up put this little lever under the door like that this came out push that up boom all right the trap is set Go ahead and put that right there pop open our chicken entree cat food oh yeah oh yeah that is looking like a possum snack i'm gonna go ahead and save a little bit of this food just in case we don't get them tonight that way i have some for tomorrow night to try to trap his butt mixing it with some dog food finley's like oh that smells good Apparently that is not for you, buddy. Sorry about your luck. This is our possum dinner concoction. All right, so since Finley, do not think about it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So both times I found this guy, he was lurking around this area. So I'm gonna put the trap right in here. Go. And I'm gonna set this food. Finley, this is not yours. Go on. Get. Go on. Get out of here. All the way in it. Oh. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully the little guy doesn't scurry back there. Put his little paws in there. Set the trap off. But if that's so if if that happens. I'm gonna have to zip tie it and Finley, get out of here. You are not setting off. See, he's chasing chickens. So, hopefully, Finley, hopefully, when I let Finley out tonight, I remember the straps here because he's gonna go right for it. But he's not gonna be able to get the food, so. All right, little possum. And he was definitely little enough to fit in this tiny trap, too. Trap set. Now we gotta set the cameras. Finley. Ooh. <laughs> if anyone has a golden retriever, they already know. One, Finley is technically allergic to chicken, so chicken cat food, you're gonna be up all night having the squirts. Oh my gosh, this little brat. Alright, luckily he didn't get a lot of it. Little punk! He's been counter- you know what's funny is he hasn't counter surfed in a year. Like he- he counter surfed probably like four times and then he just stopped. And then the other night I made some really good panko coconut crusted hogfish. This little stinker ate the rest of my filet. So. And he- and anyways I bring that up because he just took that off the table. Finley, you a bad boy. Honk. It has been raining nonstop in Florida for like the past four days straight. So I can't really blame him. He's kind of been in the house. <sighs> but anyways, all right, setting up the cameras. Family distracted me. Okay, so camera number one, I put on this very badly put together planter that I have here. Hopefully, it senses and detects right there where the trap is. Camera number two. Kind of have to set it on the ground here. Take some of this grass out of the way. Dude. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool if he actually comes tonight. Yeah, we're gonna catch him, Finley. And the reason I do want to capture this is because even though I do have a very, very secure chicken coop, uh, it's really predator proof. Predator proof. Um, I do want to get two more chickens, and you never really know. I mean, animals, possums, raccoons, especially very smart animals. So, I don't want to risk it. I've never seen 
uh, anything come into my yard before and I've been living here for almost two years now so I would hate to wake up and have my chickens in pieces because that would suck. Good morning everyone. Do you like my cup? My dad made it for me for Christmas. <laughs> but Finley, he already knows that there's a possum out there because he sits up on this little stool and he could hear it out there in the cage. And as you guys saw, we did catch him. Sorry Finn, you're gonna stay here. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. Because Finley will just bark at it the whole time, so down. Let's go see your little possum. So unfortunately the trail camera was a little bit too high and the sensor reading couldn't read the animal that was on the grass. Hi little guy. Oh you ate all your food. You ate all the cat food. Hello. I know. Hi. So I did sprinkle a little bit of dog food in front of the cage so it would like lead him into the cage and it worked out picture perfectly as you guys saw in the footage i mean it couldn't have got any more perfect than him just walking right into the trap he didn't even hesitate um so that was super exciting that was at like 2 30 2 30 in the morning last night so he's a lot littler than i thought Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. Hi. Whoa. Scary. So, possums are really... I'm gonna go... I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. I'm just gonna stick them somewhere so I can let Finley outside. But... Possums, they, they act scary and they look so vicious, but it's really their only tactic they have. Literally. So... Other than that, they're, I think they're really cool animals. And fun fact, possums cannot get rabies because their internal body temperature can't withhold the disease. So that's really interesting. I learned that volunteering at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary in uh, Jupiter, Florida. Hi, I'm gonna let you go, family, see? He's like, what is that? It's okay. You should whittle. Touch a little nose. Can I touch a little nose? Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, oh, he's feisty. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my coffee, wake up a little bit first, and then I have some private property that I have permission on where we're gonna release the possum because I do not have the heart to because I can't. 
He's so weird, a guy. He's so innocent. He's just doing possum things. But unfortunately, I have chickens that if that possum was to get into that coop, I mean, them, there would be feathers everywhere and possums will just like rip chickens apart. So fortunately it's just in their nature. Saving the chickens, cause I'm gonna get a couple more as well. Chickens. I just saved you guys. Yep. So during the summer, especially the flies are insanely bad. These fly traps, there's like 200 flies in this trap. Yeah, insanely good. They're usually all over the floor here because I will throw like some, some of my leftovers in here for the chickens and some flies get real bad. So we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go let our little possum friend go. All right, so I put a towel over this little guy just so he wasn't too spooked on the car ride over here. But, hey, listen, I'm doing you a favor, little guy. How do I, how am I gonna do this? All right, we ready? It's okay. Look, there you go. Go on. It's open. There you go. It's okay. Go on. Good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there he goes. Alright, well I know this video was probably super short because that little guy cooperated perfectly and went right into the trap. Honestly, I was expecting to get footage of him like going around the trap, trying to like get the food without going in it because I've trapped raccoons before and raccoons are insanely smart. And I had, it took me like three or four nights before I successfully trapped a raccoon just because you had to like hide the trap very well. I mean like put palm frond leaves over it. Like it was pretty insane, but this little guy just walked right in. Um, but as you can tell, he was, he was probably like a young adult, late teenager. He wasn't like fully grown possum, but he wasn't a tiny baby either. So I'm super happy that worked out. He's living his best life out here in the woods and well, that's pretty much it for this video, just a little backyard update. So we'll see you all in the next one, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a positive comment below. And if you guys are chicken people, let me know in the comments below what types of chickens I should get. I have room for two more. I've been looking at the speckled Sussex chickens, their, their leaves. Their feathers are like super, super pretty, um, kind of like an oscillated turkey. So. Any chicken comments, drop in the link or in the description. Drop it in the comment section below and we will see you guys on the next video. See ya.